Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Nina Sperano. New data from the Department of Health Services show there's been a jump of more than 150 new coronavirus cases in Wisconsin. The new data shows there are now 4,499 confirmed cases. Of those, 1,211 have been hospitalized. 230 people have now died due to the virus. According to Governor Tony Evers, before Wisconsin leaders can drop the social distancing policy, the state would need to record a reduction in new cases for 14 consecutive days. Tonight on NBC 26 at 6, we're launching a new initiative called The Rebound. We know that many people feel frustrated or helpless as the pandemic continues. The goal of The Rebound is to find and share ways you can manage that stress and make ends meet as well as find the help you need. One example is the Jackie Nitschke Center in Green Bay. Jackie Nitschke Center has has worked really hard at um, recognizing the needs of the community in a really fast uh, and a fast pace here because it's it's things have evolved really quickly in terms of recognizing what the needs are. Coming up tonight at six, we'll share more about those efforts at the Jackie Nitschke Center and introduce you to the rebound. In other news today, according to the Marinette County Sheriff's Office, human remains were discovered today after first responders were sent to a house fire in the town of Wagner. They say a neighbor called about a fire on Snyder Road just before 1 o'clock this morning. The fire was in a secluded area with no homes nearby. Officials say the human remains that were discovered inside, they believe them to be of an elderly woman who lived alone in the home. The house was a total loss. The cause of that fire is now under investigation. It is now time for a quick check on your weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland on this Monday. Thanks, Nina. Our roller coaster ride on the thermometer is continuing. We had 60s on Saturday. Yesterday, upper 40s to lower 50s. Today, Back up into the upper 50s to lower 60s, but much cooler weather is going to move in for tomorrow. Right now in Green Bay, it is 59. We've got 55 in Minneapolis, but up to the north, you can see temperatures are currently in the 30s and 40s. And that colder weather is headed south for tomorrow. It's behind a cold front. That cold front is going to kick off some showers and thunderstorms as we head through the evening. Tomorrow behind the cold front with that colder weather. Temperatures mainly in the lower to mid 40s. We will see lots and lots of sunshine with some gusty winds. For your very latest news, sports, and weather, make sure you download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.